My yeah, Mog, Mog MDVA Peach, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Number seventy, number seventy something, I think, or maybe. Oh 80 no, something. kidding! Do, oh, do yeah, you know people? Do you know people below you, Rhodes? Do I do I have the I'm impressed? Do I'm I have impressed. the ranks memorized? Is that what you're asking? No, no. I, I'm just saying I'm impressed that that you, you took the time to to uh, <laughs> learn the names of people below you. You know, number <laughs> as number sixty nine. Right. Right. Well, uh, everybody's below me because I'm number sixty nine. So I, I have it wouldn't be. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and... Battlefield makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah. I think, I think that this matchup is. Yeah, it's going to be defined by Mog's ability to pull the turnips at the right time before the neutral interaction starts. Yeah. Because Ooh, how to turn up is really... Oh, That's food. Yeah, That's I think bad. that was actually a good read because twice before Mog had tried to dash back to pull a turnip, like exactly what you're saying. <laughs> and at that time, Akir just hard called him out for it and got a dipper F smash. Yeah, it might be different uh, when I play Mog with Fox, but my impression of him as a player is is he's really good at the reversal. That's kind of his namesake. You know, he's a very much of a counterplay person, which yeah. it's just a lot harder with Marth and that sword. Yeah, for sure. It's harder also to get like a bang for your buck on your reversals against Marth. Oh, that was a sick oh, power. Huge, spell. that's yeah. huge. Oh, that yeah, that was a sick conversion. He was just ready for that. Yeah, yeah. What region is Akir from? I, I honestly am not familiar with the player. Yeah, yeah I don't either. Chat, anybody know where Akir's from? We got. Yeah, we, we must have some Akir fans in the chat, yeah? Uh, we we uh, have our Akir in the chat, too. Okay, well, Mog, can he turn this up? That whole time. Whoa. Wow. Throws the turnip straight down. Maybe that was a crazy next level mix up? Yeah, my gut's telling me it was just muscle memory from hitting C stick down. <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god. We'll, we'll, we'll oh, have to ask Mog in the interview after we oh, oh, that's probably a no joke. That's it. Yeah, no, that's it. That's it. This is this is the big thing, right? Now now the tides have changed. Can he take this stock quickly or can Mog kind of build for then? Okay, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting I'm uh, getting word that South Florida is the South Florida is the hailing place of uh, of a cure. Florida players are scary. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Flo Florida man. Uh, he seems really comfortable in, in this matchup. Though. I'm, I'm really impressed. Peach. Oh, Ooh. there's the reversal. There's the reversal. The Mog's, Mog's namesake. Oh. And a stitch. stitch base. Oh no! Sound the alarm. Sound the alarm. Wow. I mean, we, I know we've talked about stitches before, but can we just talk about the ridiculous shield stun? Like, it's the damage is one thing, but then you shield it, and you're just you're you're sitting in there. Uh, Helpless. Dude. So Helpless. long. Yeah. No, oh, that's gonna kill. Underrated even that was While actually, he was holding the stitch, too. Yeah, that was a critical kill. Because now yeah. it's basically Mog has a slight lead as opposed to <gasps> a slight lead with a stitch face. Yes. Nice, nice edge play by, uh, by Mog. A couple of nares from the ledge. Those are pretty scary. Oh, I love that up throw. Pretty though. risky. These forward airs, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about these. Another, another stitch. stitch. Okay. Please stop nearing from ledge. Yeah. Okay, he has sender again, though. Oh, yeah. but it might be a little bit too late for this it, game. It's considerably better when Mog is not at zero. Um, yeah. But Dude, Nair, Mog, the Nair against a 0% Peach is just going to get you punished. Mog's edge guards that game, actually on fire. Yes. I think almost all of his percent were from ledge trapping Akir. And then every time Akir had to up B, Mog hit him. And most of those times he killed him with those hits. Like, mm -hmm. it was kind of insane. Really, I'm always impressed whenever a Peach can edge guard on Marth consistently. Because that's something mm -hmm. that's like pretty hard to do and yeah. Mog was like making it look easy <laughs> yeah there's there's a there's like a variety of flow charts but i don't think it's i don't think it's like solved by any no for sure stretch sure. the imagination yeah, yeah yeah but i think the corner game especially with with mog as you were saying taylor it, it was super super impressive he, he just built all his damage there yeah yeah back to battlefield i like this big actually Oh, the down splashes are coming out. Yeah, and I mean, plus, you know, there were two stitches pulled that game, and you have to, if you're here, you have to be thinking, like, without those, the game could have easily gone a very different way. I don't mind mm -hmm. them. Either. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I think FD, is... though, may maybe, if FD wasn't banned. Um, yeah. Or, I, I imagine Yoshi's was banned, but... I think it's probably a bit of a playstyle thing, because mm -hmm. Akira is just trying to stop Mog from pulling turnups, and mm -hmm. you can do that pretty well on Stadium and FD, which are like the two other non-Yoshi stages he could go. And 
if he wants to not let Mog do that, he's, his choices are this or Fountain. Oh, okay. great, great the eye on that. Yeah, I yeah. don't super agree with that down smash. There, I think there were a couple more definitive <gasps> options. Oh, oh. what? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm speechless. I was gonna I'm say speechless. that Akira maybe needs to get a little bit creative coming off of the ledge, but uh, that's... So Mog, Mog took care of the creativity for him. Yeah. Nice no. dash. Uh, dash attack hits there? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, you have to switch spot it, I think. Peach's dash attack always hits. <laughs> so, talking though about that about Mog. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. hold on. Okay. Talking talking about Mog though, what I really like is is not just the ledge trapping, but he's walking he's walking a keer to the corner where yeah. the face being played is is a lot smaller. It's this yeah. like small little box where <laughs> Peach can get trades and get hits and stuff like that, and roll and get a grab like we just saw. Uh, I I'd love to see Akira use the stage oh. a little bit more. Oh, okay. is that Sorry, a good? jump? Wow. Damn. And the, uh, yeah, this the, the matchup dynamics do heavily change when Peach is in the lead. It, it's not the pressure to make something happen becomes like a lot greater, and Peach can can really play her game and Akira off the stage again. Yeah, dude. Oh, it's, it's the situation. Or oh, throw dash attack. Yeah, what? Okay. Oh, the power shields, yeah. Yeah, I'm not kind of running away with it now, just a little bit. You cannot whiff punish auto cancel fair like that. Um, mm. Mog gets a down smash. There, there are only four frames of landing lag. It's the same as if you auto cancel, so right. you're... You, you have to kind of expect the jabs or, or, or ASDI down or, or something there. You can't uh, go for like a clean whiff punish. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, turn up drop getting a little tricky. Once nice. again, the down smash I don't super agree with, but it doesn't necessarily matter. Maybe it's just consistent enough. Yeah, exactly. It, you, give lead, a, so you give a precision. Mm -hmm. It covered the roll. That's good. Yeah. Oh, nice little string. When, when Akira's at center, I'm really impressed with this play. It's just, ooh, great call out. I, I will say, though, that when Mog was up there, he went for a double jump forward air, and then Mog got to the ground first and was able to get a dash attack underneath Marth. It's, I, I think if you're watching players like Zane in this matchup, they will go out and threaten, but it's very, very specific and precise when they do because, right. mm -hmm. because nice. staying grounded, getting to the ground first, is always your priority unless you, you have like a high percentage or, or you have a very specific read. So... A little bit of an overcommitment into the air there. Right, right. I, I love that point you bring though, because because I feel like not many people talk about overcommitments in air a lot. You know, yeah. it's, it's very oh, neutral uh, exactly. ground base. Oh, oh, okay. Can he keep this up? Oh, great. Still no jump or float. I think. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, there's the float, but okay. No, now no, no more float. float. Right. Okay. Let's Still see. Can he? Float. Can he? Keep this going. Can you keep the pressure up without without giving up the the stage? Yeah, this oh. is pretty good. Yeah, no, this is still good. Yeah. Being underneath a character is crucial, mm. as we just saw with that full stock. Yeah, he literally just evened it up. That's crazy. Yeah, it's played volleyball. Oh, what like a bomb! Oh, what? He matrix under it with the un L canceled down air, dude. That's ridiculous. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Gets out of the corner. No, no, no a stitch. Not another stitch. Not another stitch! Oh no! Oh, no! no! Oh, you must be kidding me! That is crazy! Yeah. Uh, wow! I have no words. I had I this conversation. No I had this conversation with Polish the other week, or like maybe a couple yeah. months ago. That I'm convinced Peach players can pull stitches on demand, but they <laughs> don't do it to give the impression, yeah. the illusion that it's RNG. Uh, but I'm compiling evidence. So if anybody wants to, if anybody wants to DM me, you know, clips of Peach pulling stitches when they absolutely need them. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is going to turn into a dream stream then. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Good stuff to Mog, though. Even you know, even given the fact that he had insane R 